girls. Have you ever been to jail? You're laughing. But what if I told you that every single person in this room has been to jail many, many times? No, no, not just visiting someone in jail. I mean, been to jail as a prisoner. It's a jail that locks you up if you let it. That jail is the jail of your mind. Zig Ziglar, my dad's motivational guru, calls it stinking thinking. And who's my motivational guru? Of course, my dad. And Speaking of stinking, he's been talking about the importance of positive thoughts since I was in diapers. My dad has a PhD in leadership, seriously. But believe me, the real leader in my house is my mom. She's Chinese, and according to her thinking, I should be doing just one thing in life. Excel at everything. <laughs> Believe it or not, my mom's favorite word in the dictionary is actually my name, Sarah. Mom, can I sleep in late tomorrow? Sarah. Mom, I'm too scared to speak in front of hundreds of people. Sarah. So here I am at age 10 ready to explain to you how you can break free from this jail in your head, this stinking thinking, so that you too can excel at everything. The question is, are you ready? I can't hear you. <laughs> we literally lock ourselves up by the negative thoughts we think, right? We keep repeating them and repeating them until we start believing them to be true. Fake news in our head sounds like this. I'm so stupid. I'm useless. Me in public speaking? You gotta be kidding. Can you relate? When you lock up your mind, you limit your potential and possibilities. Negative beliefs and self-doubts become your best friends. Friends that your parents told you to stay away from because they were a bad influence. When you get locked up in that jail of your mind, you can't think straight. You don't have the freedom to do what you need to do to succeed. You fail. Did you notice that jail and fail sound the same? Well, why in the world would a 10-year-old talk about this stuff? Because I've been jailed too, and I failed too. Let me take you back to one of those times. I'm eight years old and all excited because my parents are taking me skiing. Woohoo! Grouse Mountain in Vancouver. As the open gondola takes flight, my hair starts flying too. Suddenly, I feel like a bird, soaring high above the trees, leaving behind the people below. Even my mom is excited. In case you didn't know, Chinese moms never show their emotions. In public, it's a whole different story at home. As I'm putting on the heavy red jacket, mittens, goggles, helmet, boots, the gear is so heavy and awkward for me that my dad has to pretty much carry me from the ski rental shop to the hilltop. And then I look down. The very steep slope. I don't know if you've ever seen a baby songbird standing nervously on the edge of the nest, knowing that her parents are going to push her out. It's fly or die. The slope is longer than an airport runway, a runway that's packed with snow. 
fear grips me. I'm breathless. I need oxygen. I'm paralyzed. How can I ever ski this? I want to go home. I try to sit down, but my dad won't let me. He nudges the songbird forward. F forward? It's down that slope? I'm terrified. Is terrified too dramatic a word? Good, because that's how I felt. Terrified. Dad, please, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm going to fall and break my head. Come on, Sarah. Let's take off. Take off? Take off? I'm not a bird. I'm not in an airplane. So I start thinking, stinking thinking, about what's going to happen when I take off. I imagine my hands, legs, and poles flying in every different direction until I slam into a tree and break every bone in my body. And then I hear the voice. It's the motivational guru. Now stop that stinking thinking, Sarah. Visualize success, not failure. <laughs> Easy for him to say. Come on, girl, I'm going to be right behind you. Behind me? Behind me? Why can't you carry me? Hey, Dad, piggyback? No? But really, what are my choices? I can't retreat. I can't fly. There's only one way to go. Down. Dad said, just take one small step, Sarah. Dad, who am I? Neil Armstrong on the moon? That's one small step for men and one giant leap for me. I take the small step. Ah! My eyes crisscross, my skis crisscross, and my gear and I went slipping and sliding and flying through the snow and air. Dad, where are the brakes? As I'm out of control and hurling down, I keep reminding myself, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm going to fall and break my head. Well, the self-talk worked. I crashed many times. And every time I crashed, I kept checking to see if anything was broken. Nope, nothing. Except my spirit. And then... My dad appears. Dad, please, I can't do this. Let's go home. I give up. I'll do better at piano. It's much safer. OK, Dad, OK? Now stop that stinking thinking, Sarah. But Dad, you learned to ski at 30. Why can't I do the same? <laughs> then, with a look of hope and compassion, Dad said, Sarah, just be the mountain. <laughs> no, no, he didn't really say that. <laughs> what he actually said was, come on, Sarah, you can and you will. Now get up and keep moving forward. I can't remember if he said those words once or many times, but they kept echoing in my mind. You can. And you will. I can? Yes. Maybe I can. And maybe I will. So I get up with a little help from my dad. And I actually made it down the hill without becoming the abominable snowman. <gasps> Whew. Wow. Hooray. I, I can do this. I just did this. So proud. So joyous! Hallelujah! 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 Ha oh, sorry, maybe going a little bit overboard there. Today, I love skiing. I enjoy the ride, the thrill of the wind in my face, the freedom to roam and conquer the mountain. Sometimes, I even believe that I am the mountain. You know, every single day, I see kids and adults putting themselves in jail, setting up to fail, 
I notice my cellmates at school. They keep using the same negative self-talk when they face an obstacle. I can't do cartwheels. Everyone will laugh at me when I try ballet. Leadership? No thanks. I'd rather be a follower. Even my teachers are saying, this is so frustrating. Why are kids such hard work? Grade fivers are so challenging. <clears throat> what I've seen is, it's not people's abilities that prevents them from succeeding. It's stinking thinking that's their problem, and my problem too. But if you don't believe a 10-year-old, you will believe Dr. Carolyn Leaf, a brain scientist. In her research, Dr. Leaf puts brains under an electron microscope. Brains that have stinking thinking scrawled all over them. These brain scans show an entangled mess of brain neuron networks. The scans look like what happens when Snoopy goes berserk chasing grandma's balls of knitting wools. A chaotic mess. But brains that have positive attitudes all show up as organized tree-like structures. Trees that have strong roots, multiple branches, fresh leaves, Trees that will surely bear good fruit. Remember that nobody is born with negative beliefs. That's why babies don't worry, lose sleep, or get stressed. So as long as they can get a hug, make faces, splash water, and eat mushy peas, they're happy. <laughs> These negative beliefs, self-doubts, fear, anger, frustration, depression, are made up by us as we grow up. Believe me, Ten-year-olds have stresses and worries, too. Like, how to raise good parents. <laughs> I spoke early on about a jail that traps you and limits your endless potential. Well, it's time to bust out. No parole. No fear. Even the Bible says, God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and love and sound mind. It is time to stop creating negative thoughts. It is time to stop receiving negative thoughts. It is time to stop stinking thinking. You remember these? I'm so stupid. I'm useless. I can't do this. No, don't remember these. Forget them. Let's change our minds together. Think right now. What is that one thing that you want to release from the jail of your mind? For me, it's probably when I flush the toilet, I'm scared I might get flushed down with it. <laughs> what about you? Got it? Okay, so with that in mind, repeat after me. I am powerful. I am intelligent. I can do this. I will do this. See, you said it yourself. You broke free from the jail in your head. Now, all you have to do is believe it. And you too will be ready to make your mom very proud. <laughs> and excel at everything. Thank you.